10 bad morning routine habits you need to stop doing today. The best way to have a good productive day is to have a good productive morning. Unfortunately, there are certain morning routine habits that you can set up for failure. These habits can negatively impact your focus, motivation, and energy for the rest of the day. So in this video, we will talk about the 10 bad morning routine habits that you need to stop doing right now. Now be sure to watch this video all the way to the end because we will provide an additional resource to help you build good morning routine habits that replace the bad ones we're about to cover. Number 1. Failing to prepare for the day. A good morning routine starts the night before when you plan for the next day. Unfortunately, many people wake up in the morning in reaction mode where they run around preparing for the day. The better strategy is to think about the next day and plan accordingly. As a side note, later on in the video, I will talk about another bad habit that causes you to start the day in reaction mode. Now there are four simple ways to get ready for the next day. First, lay your clothes out for the next morning. Studies have found there's a strong link between what you wear and your mood, so take an extra few minutes to plan out what you'll wear. Next, if you have kids, Take time to help them pack their school items and their meals. Third, plan the next work day, which is something we'll cover in habit number nine. Finally, check the next day's weather so you can be prepared for any potential traffic or other related issues. Sure, all of this will take an extra 10 to 15 minutes at night, but it will also save you precious time in the morning. Number two, hitting the snooze button. According to sleep surveys, over one-third of adults hit snooze three or more times each morning before getting up. Unfortunately, this bad habit won't help you feel more rested. That's because much of the second half of your sleep cycle is made up of restorative REM sleep. And when you hit the snooze button, you won't fall back asleep long enough to get back into the REM phase before the alarm goes off again. In other words, it's pointless to hit the snooze button because you won't feel more rested in the morning. So it's better to stick to a specific time each day for when you get up and go to sleep. Also, try to get 7-8 to eight hours of sleep per night so you won't feel the need to hit the snooze button in the morning. Number 3. Checking Social Media Many people reach for their phones first thing in the morning to check social media and to see what happened while they were asleep. But if you do this, you're starting your day off by focusing on other people's problems and priorities instead of your own. Studies have shown that there is a direct correlation between social media use and rates of depression. Furthermore, the time spent on social media is probably longer than you ever intended it to be. What starts out as a quick social media check can easily turn into 20 minutes of scrolling, which then rolls into 30 minutes, and before you know it, you're rushing out the door starting your day off in a state of panic. Instead of polluting your world with the opinions of social media when you wake up, focus on what you need to do to prepare for a constructive day. Number 4. Leaving the blinds closed Aside from potentially picking out mismatching shoes, getting ready in the dark in the morning can negatively impact your sleep cycle. It's best to expose yourself to natural light first thing in the morning because this early sun has the most blue in it which helps you wake up, makes you more alert, and increases your reaction speeds. Exposure to the morning light can also help get you better sleep at night. One study showed that people who spent more time exposed to the morning light upon waking up fell asleep faster and had fewer sleep disturbances than those who did not soak up this early morning sun. Number 5. Watching or reading the news Studies have found that those who watch just 3 minutes of negative morning news are 27% more likely to report having a bad day. What's more, the researchers believe that negative news influences one's efforts at work because you have experienced learned helplessness after experiencing all the negativity that's part of modern media. In other words, when you expose yourself to negativity in the morning, you're more likely to carry those feelings with you for the rest of the day. Number 6. Focusing on Negativity Focusing on negativity first thing in the morning will often cause you to complain or feel angry about something, which will set the tone for the day. Research has shown that people who show up to work being happy or calm typically stay that way for the remainder of the day. On the other hand, people who start the day in a bad mood usually feel even worse by the day's end, even if they've interacted with positive people all day. So be sure to monitor what you listen to, read, or watch in the mornings. Furthermore, be conscious of the words you tell yourself. Instead of complaining about everything, try to look for positive things to think about to start the day. 
One great way to do this is to keep a gratitude journal so you can reflect on everything in life that you're thankful for. We'll link to a variety of gratitude resources in the description box of this video. Number 7. Drinking Coffee First Do you want to start your day with an extra dose of anxiety? This will probably surprise and disappoint you, but drinking coffee early in the morning interferes with your cortisol levels, which can then impact the quality of your sleep and your early morning stress levels. Your cortisol levels peak first thing in the morning between 8 and 9, which is your natural way your body helps you wake up. And since caffeine also increases cortisol, you will be giving yourself that extra shot of stress which can be harmful for your health. So our advice is to wait until 9.30 before enjoying your first cup of coffee. In the meantime, it's better to hydrate with water upon waking and drink that or herbal tea until your cortisol peak has ended. Number 8. Eating an unhealthy breakfast while it's good to get in the habit of eating breakfast to fuel your brain after a night's rest, it's also not healthy to eat sugary cereals, pastries, or high-fat breakfast sandwiches on a regular basis. Studies constantly show that people who eat a healthy breakfast that include protein are less likely to become overweight than people who eat an unhealthy breakfast or those who skip breakfast altogether. People who regularly eat high sugar or high carb morning meals experience a drop in their blood sugar levels around 10, which prompts them to ravenously search for a mid-morning snack. However, people who eat protein for breakfast feel fuller and maintain their energy throughout the day. Plus, they're more inclined to follow a structured and healthy eating plan for the rest of the day. Number 9. Not planning your day. The best way to have a very effective and productive day is to deliberate with your time. And part of being intentional about your time is planning out the next work day. If you try to leave each day up to chance, you're more likely to face indecision and procrastination, which are both significant time wasters. What we recommend is to identify your three most important tasks, or MITs, and focus on completing them before you do anything else. These MITs can be broken into three areas. A task that's related to an urgent project, a task that's related to your personal life, and a task that's related to an important long-term goal. Also, make a plan for any scheduled event that is happening the next day. A doctor's appointment, a work meeting, or an activity at your child's school. Number 10. Starting your workday in reaction mode. Similar to checking social media as soon as you wake up, checking and responding to email instantly puts you in a reactionary mode. You'll end up focusing on how to solve other people's problems before solving your own. Instead of working in reaction mode, we suggest completing your three MITs to start the morning. Then take the time to open and respond to emails you should have received. Well, there you have it. 10 morning habits that you should stop doing today. Now if you would like to substitute these bad habits with something positive, then be sure to check out our video on the 12 best morning routine habits of the world's most successful people. The link will be in the description box of this video. So now, it's your turn. Is there a habit that we just mentioned that you currently do? Do you want to challenge yourself to break this habit? If so, then leave us a comment below and talk about the part of your morning routine that you'd like to change. Finally, we talk a lot about success habits to level up your life on this channel, so be sure to like this video, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more great content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stick around to watch the next video in our channel.